What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Stop for Garage. Today's episode is gonna be specific to how I clean my wheels, tires, and rims. And then we're also gonna show you how to protect your tires from dry rot, sun UV you know, corrosion, but also make them shine. For me guys, I like the more matte, shiny finish. I don't like that glossy, stuff that you can put on your tires that when you drive down the road then it starts flinging everywhere and gets all of your paint. I'm not really a big fan of that. So I am partnering today with 303, which is a huge honor for me because I've been using their products my entire detailing career. I've always used 303 Aerospace Protectant and Cleaner and if you've watched my previous videos guys, you'll see I've always used their stuff and I wasn't even sponsored by them and I always promoted their stuff because I enjoy and use their products all the time. 303 reached out to me for this video in particular because they have a tire and rubber cleaner in specific and a protectant that they wanted me to talk about and use today. I've been using it for the last couple weeks and I will say that on our minivan it has brought the tires back to life. The shine is incredible and then the cleaner product itself is Awesome, so I'm gonna show you guys today my cleaning routine using these products. And before we get started guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So to go ahead and start off guys, I'm gonna show you what the tire looks like before and the rim. You can see how dusty it is from the brake dust, just from road dirt in general. The tire just looks dull, it looks bad. So guys, on my car, the actual center hub cap pops right off. You just gotta unscrew it to unlock it. That'll be a separate piece we clean. Jacking the car up and giving me a little bit extra room around the wheel arch is helpful because my car already sits so low. Most of you guys probably won't have to worry about that, but if you do, it's a good idea to go ahead and lift it up a little bit or put the car on jack stands if you have the opportunity. The first step that we're gonna be using is the tire cleaner. I actually use a piece of cardboard box that I've cut up and I literally bend it and then it fits in the wheel arch perfectly and I specifically use this to get the overspray from any cleaner or any dressing that I use and keep it off my car's paint. The 303 tire and rubber cleaner is actually a color changing formula. When you spray it on, it actually sprays on purple, but when it comes in contact with any dirt, it actually begins to foam. It's actually really neat and it smells amazing. When you spray it on, you'll see here that it actually begins to turn brown. That is telling you and showing you that it is actually working, doing its job, and usually let it sit about one to two minutes. Here I'm using the product on the center hubcap as well, just kind of spraying on, letting it do its magic. So at the local store, I picked up this tire brush. I specifically use it for between the spokes and my rim. I like to use a terry cloth on my rims too, uh, besides the brush, because a lot of the times there's some nooks and crannies I might not get into, but also using my hand, I feel like I can do a better job sometimes, and I wipe it off all the, like the major stubborn dirt before I spray it off with water. Here I'm using a soft bristle brush that I picked up at any auto parts store. I'm specifically using it to get any of that stubborn dirt or grime that's on the tire itself before I spray it off with water. And guys, the only reason why I'm spraying off with water is because I'm doing this in my garage because the weather's bad outside. When you're washing your car, you should be doing this, but for me, I'm just using a spray bottle to spray any water and spray off the cleaner itself. Now I'm just using a clean microfiber towel to wipe down the rim and the tire and clean off any water or extra cleaner that's on the rim itself before I apply the protectant. One cool thing about the tire and rubber cleaner is it removes tire browning. You can even use it on your floor mats and it's safe on all wheel types. All right, so now that our tire is clean, we're gonna be following up with the 303 Tire Bomb and Protectant. There are multiple different types of applicators. I actually use an old wash mitt that's a sheepskin wash mitt. 
Don't ask why, it just works well because I feel like I can make a contour better for different tire sizes and shapes. Make sure you kind of cover all surface areas and try to stay off the rim as much as possible. I mean, obviously on the lip, you'll get a little bit, but then we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes or so on the first layer. So we're gonna go ahead and apply one coat of the 303 Tire Bomb and Protectant to get that matte and shiny look. You can apply an additional coat after this if you wanna get a shinier finish. I mean, use up to three coats and you can kind of get that wet, deep, glossy look if you want. Um, but for me, I'm just gonna do one layer because I like more of that matte, non-shiny finish that you can see here in the video. The next step that I'm gonna do is I'm just taking a Carnuba wax or some sort of finishing wax product that you might use on your paint. And I like to use an applicator, a pad or a microfiber towel in this case, and essentially treat your actual painted rim surface like you would your car's paint. So I'm applying a layer of wax, layer of Carnuba wax in this case, and then I'm gonna go ahead and buff it off. Tire Bomb and Protective protects your tire from browning, cracking, kind of drying out if you will, and it lasts up to three times longer than other competitor tire brands. The cool part is that it dries quickly, it's a sling-free formula, so you're not gonna have it spraying all of your paint when you decide to drive off again. And I truly, absolutely love these products. So guys, make sure you check them out in the description box below. cleaning routine guys like I said thank you 303 for sponsoring today's video I'll have all their information in the description box below with links to both of the products it's a game changer guys so if you guys enjoyed today's video give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new detailing videos and let me know in the comments below what video you guys want to see next and thank you guys so much for watching see you next time bye guys